Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature that is supposed to come out. Uh, assigning uh, to a breakout room um, members uh, before the meeting starts. So I'm in Microsoft Teams. I'll go to the calendar. Let's organize a meeting and uh, let's give it a name. Let's call it demo. And I will invite Alex and I will invite Lee Gu. And let's uh, invite uh, Megan. So we will send it. And uh, now we can edit the, the meeting and we will go to the tab of the breakout room. Now you will see on the left, it should load. Just a second. You see, we can create a uh, rooms so let's uh, decide how many rooms let's say uh, three rooms and we will see a button on the left that says assign partic participants so let's click it we can either do it automatically and then they will be assigned uh, automatically let's test this so you see one goes to each one and uh, that's actually uh, what was happening, but let's try also manually. So I'll create another uh, room before I deleted it. And uh, by default, it created two rooms and I will click uh, assign and we will choose manually. And uh, actually you see, I can search for the people. I can uh, go to the person, let's just look for Lee. So it will I can find it, but if I find it here, I can uh, choose to assign to the room. So I have, uh, this will go to room one, and these two will go to room, let's go here, uh, to assign room two, and we can just uh, assign them in a way. As you noticed, uh, we can assign multiple uh, people together. We can edit the name of the, so, we could call this uh, North and we can call the other room uh, South. So let's do that. By the way, uh, the same thing is, uh, so this is when we do it before the meeting, but uh, we can also do it actually uh, during the meeting. Um, I need to test if, if it works actually with externals. We'll test it in a second. Let's go to rooms here. And uh, from here also, um, we can actually, let's delete this and try to assign participants. Just a second. We will say, uh, create two rooms and create, assign it manually. And actually we will see, um, just a second. Select the people that you choose to assign. So I don't see it here. Something is very strange. Um, assign participants. It's not that working. Let's see who are the people that are invited. So this is really strange. I guess only when they're in the meeting, we can assign them or during the meeting because they did not attend and we cannot assign them. Um, okay, so this is actually what I wanted to show you. Let's also try actually uh, to invite somebody else which is actually uh, external. So let's try this, let's edit it. And I will uh, actually need to create a totally new, uh, new meeting. So let's try that again. So I'll create a new meeting, let's call it this, and we will uh, choose Alex, and I will choose my mail. And let's see if it uh, will, we will be able to assign it. So I'll go in and edit, go to the breakout room tab, and we will create a breakout room. 
and let's say two rooms and we will say that assign participant just a second assign participants manually next uh, it seems that uh, only internal uh, people can be assigned um, but that's actually makes sense but uh, who knows so this is what I wanted to show you and uh, see you in the next episode.